Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Miller. My intro is never going to change. One day, possibility. Oh my gosh. Um, also known as Amethyst Winters, I am another parent co parenting. I am an author and I am a makeup lover. A little bit obsessed. Borderline obsessed, but yeah, I'm a makeup lover. So today's video is on that subject. And sorry, I thought I saw some leftover mascara. No, no, just my lovely bags under there. <laughs> um, today's video is a um, everything is special. <laughs> I was gonna say a special series, but they're all special. This is a three palettes with three looks with one palette um, video. What it is is I am using my older palettes. This one I've had for like three years. It's a Morphe palette and maybe four, three to four, somewhere in that vicinity. I got it when it was pretty new, probably three, four months old, maybe up to six months. They uh, <coughs> released two that were very similar. This one was the darker of the two, but they didn't have the other one. I am actually looking for, you're going to... My boys are playing. Don't mind them. They get excited when they play. But this is the Morphe 25A and ah, it does say on it. It is the Copper Spice. Yep, it is the Copper Spice palette. I, it was above and below it, but below it was other direction, so I, that's what I was looking at. So, I still have things, and it actually has the names, if you can see it. So, I will be telling you which colors I will be using. It looks like this. It's pretty. It's pretty. There's... This ray of shimmers right, row of shimmers right there with another one right there. This one, I believe, is a satin. Um, mats the first three rows, except for this one there. This one right there are all mats. <coughs> that one is another satin. And then these two bottom ones are like satins, except this is like a glittery shimmery matte thing because it's it is dark but you can see some gold flecks in it so and then you have two more mattes at the end dark ones i like the array it's pretty but it's not it was me some years ago oh this one also has some little bitty tiny little silver flecks in it or coppery yeah coppery red flecks in it <clears throat> this was me four or five years ago Last couple years, I've been getting big into color. I love color. I, I mean, the colorful ones make me go, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just the truth. I love me some color. So this is pretty, but I might be passing it along. I barely used it. I don't know if you can tell. You can't even see the kick up in any of the pans, really. You can see a little bit of, you know, right there. If I gave it away, I would definitely clean it off as, you know, we are coronavirus mid-level right here. But, <clears throat> I don't know. But, I've never, I've done several looks with it, several. But, as my series goes, and I already filmed, and I could never get that silly video to export. I tried like six times. It was with my, um my um makeup revolution fortune favors the brave palette i love those looks i might split them up into three separate videos i don't know just really makes me mad because that was my first one and i've seen a few others do this you know three looks four looks with throwback palettes type of thing i i'm beyond the copying thing this is not original anyway i'm certain others have done it but I just thought, I have all these palettes. They're not doing anything. I need to use them. <laughs> I have some new ones that I need to use too. But I am doing four looks with my new palettes. 
So I thought, why not take my older ones and do three looks with one? Maybe somebody wants this. Maybe somebody has this that would like to do three looks. This first look is going to be very simple. It is going to be super simple. I am going to show you how simple this is going to be. <clears throat> now, I've already primed my eyelids. I was going to put on music in the background, but I don't want to have to go and get a different phone to get the music going or tablet or whatever. So we're not going to have music, but the other two I might. You never know. I kind of hope I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a bit bold. I'm a bit not caring about what people think and what, especially YouTube and all of them and the people that, no, uh -uh. although I don't think YouTube cares. I think it's the record labels and stuff. They care. Seriously, you're going to come after me for my $10 that one day I may make on this video? Come on. Whatever. But I doubt it. Okay. So, super simple. We're going to go with my version. I say that because so many out there, there are several versions. This is one of my versions of a smoky eye. We're going to take... I'm not going to take the black. There's a lot of colors you can go with, but I think I'm going to take this very bottom red right here. And it is called... Yep, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flipping, 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 flipping. Okay, and turning, turning. There we go, destination, right there. I think that's it. Sorry, I had to make sure I had it the right way and everything. Yep, I think that's it. Okay, we're gonna take that on a flat type of brush. I've already put it on there. It's not dirty, <laughs> well, it is, but that's not dirt that you see. It's it's a leftover shadow, that's the shadow. And I'm just gonna pack it on my bottom lid. My bottom lid, I got three lids by the way. You know, this is the bottom. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to pack it on my lid. Oh my goodness gracious. Goodness. I could, I could if I wanted to put a shimmer in the middle, but I'm, I don't want to. This is going to be an all matte look because the other two will probably have shimmers in them because there are so many pretty shimmers in them. I think this is why I bought this palette is for the shimmers. I will definitely admit that. In a world full of mattes, they brought out the shimmers. They've also got, and I have the matte version, they've also got the, whoops, we went a little high with that. That's all right, that's all right. It usually gets diffused out up there anyway, so. Um, they, the 350M was really famous back when, about, oh goodness, about five years ago, 2015, 2015. 14, late 2014, somewhere in there. Um, back when I was first doing makeup and my daughter's like, you got to see these because I, I didn't know nothing, but she's like, you got to see these and I sure did. And I was like, oh my, that is so cool. Um, they had the matte version and they had the shimmer version, the 350M and the 350S. M for matte, S for shimmer. And sure enough, um, There is some debate as to whether it's 35O, M, and O, S. I say there's a debate because I thought it was always 350. But I think it might be 35O, S, and O, M. Because that makes more sense. They base the number on how many colors are in the palette. So this one is 25A because there's 25 colors. There's 25B, which is the other one of this. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, hopefully I'm going to figure out in less than three minutes. I'm going to go in, I'm going to go ahead and use a soft satin 
it's close enough. This one here called Afterlife. And I'm going to blend out the edges and make it smooth. I love this, of course, only fitting. It's a Morphe brush. I don't have many. This is one of them I have. We're just going to go in soft circular motions. Many don't like Morphe. I am not their biggest fan, but I definitely do like them. I know some people who like them, but they don't like that they stand on the fence with their um, whole um, cruelty-free. And because they stand on the fence and too wishy-washy with their answers, they have stopped using them and stopped buying them. Now, I'm not an animal, animal cruelty person, but I also will buy whatever. Now, if they have a company that says, straight up, we don't care, I'm not going to support them at all. If you notice, now, yes, they may be just because. Most of them are only not cruelty-free because in China they have laws that require them to test on animals which makes them legit not cruelty free because in china they test on animals my opinion on that is as long as they are if i thought my little self not buying their products would make a difference and make them take a stand, I would do it. You've got to stand for what you believe in. I applaud those that stand for that. <clears throat> I just don't think it's going to make a difference. So I like the products. The products are good. If the products are good and they're not, sorry, and they're they're talking to Google and Google is still down. Anyway, so if I thought that I would make a difference, I probably would. Okay, now that's about it for that. We're gonna go ahead and pause it and finish the rest of this makeup off camera. Okay, so here's the final results. I will go real quickly and show you what I used. <laughs> Maybelline H Rewind Concealer for my inner eye areas. It's usually the only place I use it. Zoeva Foundation. This is all for my shopping stash, but we'll go over it anyway. Um, I am wearing no liquid liner, believe it or not. I am wearing my Melly um, Evercolor Eyeliner in not walnut, not cappuccino. Hazelnut with, I got a combination of that um, destination shade right underneath my line, waterline, and I smoked it out with that that um, brownish toffee shade called Afterlife. Now, now, <laughs> I'm, my brows are my um, Private Society eyebrow pencil, which I'm really liking. It's working really nicely. Not the best at eyebrows anyway, so don't judge me on that. It's just easy to use. I am wearing my Project Pan highlighter, um, bronzer, and blusher. I won't show you. It's part of my Project Pan. And I should have used my Project Pan. Lip pencil. The head, the brain. They don't work always. I'm wearing this lip liner from my Shelly Stash and this Clinique lipstick. So, that is what is on my face. This is look number one. And on to look number two. Real quick, this may go up as part one, part two, part three, separate videos. It all depends if I can mesh them together 
actually it all depends if I can export them off my camera onto my laptop and then mesh them together. Might have another way. We'll see. Look number two. Sorry, I meant that was look number one. Now for look number two. You knew that. I just wanted to clarify in case anybody gets confused. On to look number two. <coughs> Look number two. So, I was going to put on music, but I don't have my musical device, so no music. There we go. <coughs> Hopefully, I'll have music in the background. But, next look, I am going to do, I think, the next two I'm going to use the um, glitters, the mini shimmers. And I think this one, I think I'm going to do... A cut crease, um, smoky eye type of thing. Yeah. So we're going to need, we're going to need a dark shade. I kind of want to go in. kind of want to be a little daring and use this one. It's got, it can't, I don't know if the camera's picking it. Yeah, just a little bit. It is. There's a tad bit of shimmer to it. It's like some gold reflex. We're going to try that one as a... We'll see what happens when we put that in the in the um, outer V and bring it in. <clears throat> and then, then I'll probably buff it out with one of these lighter shades. But that one is called... Yep, that's not... Oh, yep, yep. Ah, oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to find it. Okay. So hopefully I remember to put on my... Um, music so you guys can have some music while I pop these colors on my lids <clears throat> of course there is a darker two darker ones there is destination which I used last time and unveil so I just want darkish one, not the steepest. Yeah, that's plenty deep. Eh, I don't see the reflex as much, so that's good. It's kind of, I like the color. I wasn't looking for the reflex, so. And I'm kind of sloppy when it comes to this. I will admit. Also using the wrong brush. This is, I need a more angled pencil brush for this, but it's okay. It's working. work. We'll do a little bit of touching up <clears throat> in a bit. I brought my eyes, my concealer, which I'm using my shop my stash concealer. And um it goes by it cosmetics. And I actually went ahead and powdered them to set them with some powder because my it tends to crease and then it tends to crease the shadow. So I don't want that. Yeah, always one is better than the other. It's just, it's just me, you know, just, just, I urge you to accept it because that is the way it's going to go. I don't get it. It's got to be my eye shape. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to take this one by BH Cosmetics that I'm <coughs> constantly using. And I think I'll go in with this shade right here called Mojave. That shade right there. And I'm going to just blend the edges so they're not so harsh. And come in just a smidge. And then go in just a little bit more and I'm going to 
put that in the crease. Yeah, I'm silent. I'm hoping I remember to put some music in the background. It makes it longer to export, but it's definitely necessary for these. Yeah, I like that. Bring that in. <coughs> Excuse me. I will probably take a white and just or a cotton ball with makeup remover or something and just sharpen that. I'm sorry, I am breaking out severely this time. <coughs> well, for me, severely. I got two going on right there and one over here. Life! Let's just say me and the, uh, the, uh, the groundskeeper do not coincide. <laughs> yeah, I live in apartments, so they do it when they want to do it. Is that kind of blended away? Just a little bit? And I am doing something else. So if you see me reaching over here like this, I'm watching my <laughs> today's video that's supposed to be exported and put up today. But through this, that, and the other mishaps. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> Don't mind me. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So. Liking, even though I wanted to go a little bit brighter, like one of these shades up here, or even that one, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a little smoky, but I think I really like it. I think it's going to look good, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use my finger. Yeah, I'm a finger girl. I know many people don't like to, but I definitely do. That probably actually is darker than I thought it would be. Holy cow. I thought that would be a lot lighter, so I think I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> top it off with one of those lighter shades. Yeah, that's pretty dang dark. Got to make the same mistake and the same on the other eye, otherwise it doesn't look right. Little tip I got from, well not personally, but Tati said in her video once. I totally didn't think it would be that dark. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I am going to go in. With was called Just Shadow. Interesting. And this one, we're going to go in with this one next, and it's called Brass. I want it to brighten up the inner corner. Look at that 
It lightened it up. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm going to take this shade right here. It is called Sand Dollar. Let's go ahead and see if I can lighten that up with that. Just not working. going to go off camera and do the rest of my makeup. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, finished look. I am pleased with it overall. I was um, looking for something a little bit lighter on the inner, but I really think it turned out well, despite the fact that they're all, but that's, I kind of think it worked out good that way but they're all very similar shades and just a little bit of a gradient um, I really was going for something like dark and then stark white but um, didn't have it in here I'm thinking about I think a little tidbit on or a little sneak peek on the next one which is coming up um, I think I'm going to use hmm, I think I'm going to use this one or this one and with one of these two in a in a uh, smoky eye. Hello eye, hello eye. Might be cut crease, might be just just there. So we'll see. Um, a little darker than they seem. I might use one of these two too. One of these two too. So who knows? But yeah, I think I'm gonna do a halo. Hello eye next. So look three. Sorry, I do this all the time here. Look three coming up look number three and let me apologize this is the same top I'm wearing and I think all three and believe it or not it is different days <laughs> this is my pajama top <laughs> no I'm sorry I'm gonna do better next time I promise so um yeah this is look number three we I'm actually gonna do something different than I said I was gonna do when I was filming look number two and told you what I was gonna do I'm gonna do something a bit different so I am gonna start with the crease We are going to start, I think I'm going to take this color right here, called Lit. I'm, I'm making sure, yeah, it's called Lit. I don't know that I would call it Lit, but, but it's called Lit. And I am wrong about this palette. When I first introduced it and at my very first look before I even got started with it and even thinking about it. I was like, I don't see where I could do many more looks with this. But honestly, you know, there's there even though it's all shades of brown, there are several yeah, shades of brown and copper and stuff. There are several looks you could do. I've already I had to kind of hash out between two or three different looks that I wanted to do today. But um, this is the one, excuse me, this is the oh, that but oh. this is the one that I decided to do. This is a very simple look. It will be very short, which is good, which is good, but also, in my opinion, very, very cute. And very wearable, in my opinion. Then again, I work at Walmart, I wear them. Anyway, I've worked, I did a rainbow look and wore it to Walmart. So, go over here. Hello. 
and these blend really well. That is the thing about Morphe shadows. I will say, I think it's a bit of a hit and miss. Um, everybody knows about the fiasco about the Jaclyn Hill palette, the second, the bolt. Um, I have a friend who has, I believe, two out of three of them. I forget which two, but she said she never had any problems. Um, is she an expert makeup artist? And she'll say no. But I do think she knows what she's talking about. So I think it just depends on the thing. And I think it depends on the person. I think some people can go in thinking I should be able to do this in 10 seconds. And not all shadows work like that. And most of them don't. But just saying, I just don't think. Yeah. So I am going to go in this shade here. It is called... <laughs> yeah, that's why I chose it. Because it's called Sunbeam. And it's this really sparkly gold color. And it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick brush clean. And I don't know where I put my brush conditioner that I used the other day. But that was really, really useful. It's a brush conditioner. I really like it. It's by Sephora. I think I'm going to repurchase it. I didn't purchase it. I got it in a, either a gift or it was my birthday gift from Dee Dee. Either way, it was from Dee Dee. One or the other, but I cannot remember which it was. And I think it was in our, our box exchange. Although, she gave me a lot more, but... She said, yeah, don't feel like you have to. And I was like, well, but okay. <laughs> mm. But I ended up giving her a big box anyway because she won my giveaway, so I put it all together. But anyway, long story, that's neither here nor there. So we're going to just pack this on first with the brush. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and pack it on even more. But yeah, I just thought this shadow was so pretty. It needed to be spotlighted on its own. And honestly, this shadow right here that I am using right now is the main reason that I got this palette. I saw this shadow and it just... There is another palette that I do not own that I want. That is one shadow in it that I want. And I know that is a horrible reason to buy a whole entire palette. But that shadow is so pretty. I want it. And if that's the only way I can get it is to buy the whole palette, okay then. I will use the whole palette. I will use most of the colors in it, but that shadow that I'm referring to is the main reason I will be buying that palette. And this series is making me fall for my palettes all over again. I did, um, I did, I will probably end up airing it in pieces um, with a little bit of a note, but I can, I tried like a dozen times to export this video and it would not export. No matter what I did, it would not export. I tried and I tried and I tried, but it would not export. So if I ever get it exported, I'll just put it up as a random, but it is my very first three looks with one palette with an Oliver palette. And it is used in my Makeup Revolution palette, um, Fortune Papers the Brave. And I made some really cute looks with that palette. I was really impressed. Yeah, see, that is actually really good. But this is why I like using fingers. Watch this. Oh, yeah. See how much better that does? Now, I will say, it is the testament to a shadow if you can use both fingers and and um, brush to make it look good this good to a shimmer shadow and I will say I have a video that went up on Saturday using Lily Posh's OMG that debutante shadow is so beautiful I 
am so glad she sent me an extra. <laughs> I am so glad because it is so freaking pretty. I was so in love with it. It is just the perfect shade of lavender. Perfect shade of lavender. Beautiful. That is truly gorgeous. Now, I do want to kind of darken up that outer just a little bit. <laughs> so, as light as this shade looks, this is not a light shade. So I want to go ahead and put, using this same brush that I used for that shade, I'm going to go ahead and just, just a little bit, I want to deepen up that outer V. Oh, wow. See how much darker that is? Wow. This is like a satin shade. It's definitely not matte because there's some shimmer in it, but it's definitely not shimmer because as you can see, it's showing up as a matte. But I think if you got close up, you could see. Now I could have left it just just the copper shade, goldy shade, whatever color you want to call that. But I I am it, it's gonna be wild before I, I like get away from that uh, whole outer V thing. I just think I like the depth that it brings. And yeah, I probably do it with 95 to 100% of my looks edging toward that 100. <laughs> but yeah. I just really like it. But I want to go back in just a little bit. And I want to bring up, um, I'm going to, whoo, see? What it did, I just did that. <laughs> Oopsies. Um, I am going to start a new series. It's not, it's going to be few and far between because here's the deal. I want to do it using palettes that I've done four looks or three or four looks with. So I've already done four. This would be my fourth palette. So I'm needing a fifth, which is coming up soon. That would be a new palette that I've, you know, and that's um, coming up soon. You'll see, it'll be aired about, I think it's uh, Monday, June 14th or something like that. I know, right? I, I'm horrible. You don't even know. I have it all planned out really far in advance. But um, this look could have been faster had it not been talking. But anyway, it's a palette bingo where I take um, five palettes that I have used, like I said, for four or three looks. And then I take, I do a random number generator. <coughs> I think I said this before, anyway, in each palette. And I choose one color from each palette and make a look with those. So I think it'll be fine. But we'll see. We'll be back in a few. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, even thought a little bit, or was. So this is the finished look. I use, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. My apologies, give me one second. Um, and a little side note, I guess. I do a lot of side notes, but I, yeah, I do. Well, shoot, call me butter. Um, I use my Urban Decay in my waterline. And I know, right? There's a lot of Urban Decay. Which one do you can use? Ah, I'm looking for it. Ah, God dang it. This is where it should be, but I am struggling to find it. Ah, yes, I use this one. It's a really coppery pretty. I don't know if you can tell it, but I like the effect. I was uncertain because I knew I'd put dark down here just to frame the eyes, but I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I like how it turned out. I really do. Um, I think that is a gorgeous shadow. And it's just a shame you can only see it when I close my eyes or, or I squint a little or, you know, something like that. But anyway, 
Um, I still like how it turned out. I really do. I just think it's so pretty. That is such a gorgeous color. Um, sunshine. I, did, I will probably forget, but that is such a gorgeous color. Anyway, this is look number three, and this is the final look. Um, it might be in three different videos. I apologize if it is. If it's not and you're watching this in all one big 40 minute video, um, again, apologize for being so long, but I will trim it as much as I can, but I'm having trouble downloading it onto my laptop from my phone and I use my phone to record um, most things. I do have a camera but I don't have a, tri a table tripod so I can't really record any type of um, videos and man I think I forgot to adjust the lighting on this. I apologize. It is so doable. Hold on one second. I might, you might see my finger. Okay, hold on one second. Now we're going to do it. So I apologize that the lighting is so bad in this one. Um, my apologies. Um, I hope you like these types of videos. I will be doing them for a while now. And I told you about that other one, the palettes bingo. I'm excited about that too. Uh, that's coming up. As I said, it's got to be five that I've, in my rules, that I've done looks with. So it will not be but like every eight to ten weeks. But... I will be putting it up and I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know the things to say. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. You might want to click on those notifications and yeah, give me a comment below. Um, which look did you like the best? I'm going to choose this one. I did like the, my smoky eye, the first one, but I really like this one. So, um, let me know which one you like the best, and I would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's already probably pushing 45 to 50 minutes. Love you all. Have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.